Hello mods, it is Crushmaster, and welcome back to another Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 video. And today mods, we are going to be continuing our adventure after a lot of mind-blowing revelations as of lately. If you haven't seen the last few videos, I recommend you watch at least the last, uh, well the last one probably. If you want to really get caught up, I would say the last three or four videos, because trust me mods, a lot of things have been happening. But to give you a quick summary, if you have been caught up with the series, basically, Zara is an admin. Apparently there were at least three, a third one named Fred. Um, the admin who have we been calling, like the character who's been messing with us basically, is named Romeo. And um, now we're trying to basically find a way out of this space wherever exactly we are. The admin's like prison. And we've been recently fighting a lot of mobs, trying to escape. And now we're at a point where um, Zara, base who was Prisoner X, basically takes us below bedrock you heard that right my it's below bedrock and it is crazy and i i actually looked back on this to see and jesse calls it the underneath us uh, me jesse um calls it the underneath which i gotta say is really really cool and i want you i want to know much because i know minecraft story mode has been kind of one of the least known games alongside minecraft earth um, but I personally do love it, and for any of you who watch these videos and like the game, would you like to see something like that in another game? Like, story, like, uh, like, I really doubt story mode season 3 will really happen at this point. It, it, who knows, maybe someday in the future. Um, but they have Minecraft Legends, and obviously Dungeons is still going strong, and the normal Minecraft is still going strong as well. So would you like to see something like that, Mites? Like, I know there's been a lot of talk about, like, the, the, maybe, the, it seems like maybe Mojang will be adding a new dimension at some point. Whether that's, like, the portal in the, in the, uh, the ancient city, uh, in the deep dark, or whether or not that might actually be something uh, entirely new. Who knows, mites? But uh, as of right now, there's um, right now that's pretty much it at the point. Um, and where we're heading is going to Fred, the third uh, admin. We're going to his keep, and we're uh, basically gonna take a look around and see if there's any way that maybe he left something to help us. So here we go. Oh, and also we're being chased by a giant Enderman. So uh, just to let you know. It's okay, we're still okay, as long as it doesn't do that. Oh no. Everybody jump! We just got on the minecart! Oh man! Oh, oh boy, oh boy! Jack. I'm okay! Oh! No! Oh. Need to stop saying that! Oh, careful, gravel. You two are in a bit of a pinch, Wait. aren't you? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kind of sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Nope, no trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? Uh... Lost? We're, we're here to defeat the admin? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Find it maybe weird. Help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. I would appreciate that if one. you did it. The first one. Oh boy. Oh man. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you. When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! Oh, boy. We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. Wait. 
a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? I got gunpowder. Jesse, we can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Oh, oh man. Ah, there's nothing but lava and a large fall. Just. Duh, fine. I'm gonna miss you, Diamond Sword. I can do this all day. Here. And one more makes two. Fine. But pull me up first. I think that's a fair deal. Oh, come on. Ah, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Woo! Oh boy. Huh. Way too close. Just getting kind of dicey there for a sec. I really did not want to give up that sword, but we had no choice All for right. it. I admit it. That would have been one nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just jump out at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, you got me. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for this beauty. Oh, and, uh... Make sure to keep your pocket stocked for next time, all right? <laughs> oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, look, squeakies! Where the heck are they going now? Whoa! What the heck? Oh, Great. Let's go. Jeffy. Oh, boy. Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um... <sighs> Come on. Ah, uh, man, this is not good. Great, we're two swords down, and we're in the underneath. Just <sighs> love Stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened Okay, if we... that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Yeah, I didn't like it either. I'm, I'm really sorry, Jack. Well, if we ever see those scavs again, they're gonna be sorry. Yeah. I really want that sword back, but... We got more important things to focus yes, on. This is how they keep the mobs out. Ah, great. Anybody got any blocks? Ooh. That's very nice. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I just figured we would just build it. Whoa. Strangers. Uh. Strangers! Vita! What do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not going to hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Fred? Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? She knows Fred, but who is she? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Probably Someone not. there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition. What? For a chance to win one night in Fred's house. What? Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Probably helps pass silly. the time. You're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, don't, don't judge. Have more important things to worry about? Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. 
Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. Oh, uh, right. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me, this is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. Okay, You're okay, welcome understandable. welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good oh luck. boy. This place is weird. Well, I am a pretty good researcher. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm guessing that's Fred up there. Huh. He kind of looks like the guy from that one painting I pointed out, the, pointed out in the last episode. Huh. Let's see. So that's Fred, huh? Looks like a pretty big, strong guy, huh? Man. Kind of wish Zara were here. Uh, Zara was here. Maybe she could talk to them and help them understand, but... She's kind of going through a lot. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, excuse me, uh, Wanda. Let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Ouch. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Fair enough. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. Huh. Yeah, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prompt like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. I think I know where to get some sticks. <laughs> right over here. All right. Yeah. Nice. There we go. I still have that gunpowder too, so hopefully that'll come in handy. Looks like five is enough to make a TNT, so worst case scenario, maybe we can make some. Hello, little pupper! I don't want to pick up the bone, though. Little, little puppy over there looking really cute. He's contempt. I don't want to take his bone. Let's see, maybe Petra has some thoughts on what we can do. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Fair enough. Worst case scenario, we might need to go with Petra's route, honestly. Um, hello there, uh, Mr. Kent. So... So you're the one! The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred! Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means... I always win. And that means... You will lose. So good luck. Uh, I don't even know what to do with that one. Uh, thanks for the luck, I guess. He does look pretty old, Molly. So, oh, wait. <clears throat> da, 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 over here, a little bit. Don't look suspicious. He does look pretty old, Molly. So I wonder if he actually. I was thinking. Uh, I was actually thinking. Is is ah? Oh, I can't go over here. That sucks. I was actually thinking. Is it possible he's Fred? But I'm not sure. But I was, I was actually also, oh wait, can't go over here either, okay, I have to go this way. I was actually thinking, maybe he actually met Fred? I mean, we never met him, and it seems like he died a while back, unfortunately, but I wonder how many people here actually met Fred? That's, uh, that's my question. Uh, okay, wait, how do I go? Okay, I have to go over... Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Hi, um... 
you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. Huh. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Alright, that's uh, a pretty good piece bye. of trivia. Hey, I mean, you know, she likes farming mushrooms, then let her. Although, I gotta say, the... Uh, assuming, uh, since he likes uh, the diamond hoe, like, favorite tool, it kind of makes sense. I mean, when you look at all of the fauna and, like, well, not really fauna, like, all the growth, like, all the dirt in these giant glow shrooms and even the blue ones, it looks like he might have been kind of like a, a crop grower of, of some sort, I, I suppose. Even look, some of the house right here and the hay bales, the mushroom blocks, it's all very much uh, organic. Um, hello there, Cam. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. Guessing she's kind of, uh, shy to outsiders. I guess it's understandable. Oh, Rydar! Hey, what's going on, buddy? You training a bit? In a bucket, ha! Becomes the bucket. <laughs> nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Oh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. That is pretty cool. not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? I hope have not. have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone. We'd have no idea. Our town is strong enough to hold him off for a while. I hope so. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. I'm sure they're all gonna do if fine. There's one thing I learned in the slammer. It's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. One, two, and a half. You're actually doing more. All right, uh, keep up the good work, Radar. Ooh, okay. Another dead bush for some more sticks. Here we go. I can definitely use these. All right, let's see. Let's look around. Let's see. Uh, looks like uh, Nerm and Jack might be trading stories. Maybe let's uh, go take a look. The creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dreshnajel Valley was not an emotional man, but that day, that day, he shed a tear. One way to gather information, I guess. Pretty good. Trade some stories uh, from him, and maybe they'll give some information about Fred. How about you, Nerm? You doing all right? You guys find anything useful? <laughs> Keep up the good work. All right. Well, along as long as he's as long as he's okay. I know he was a bit uh, sad about what happened to Stella and um, and everything before. Uh, let's see. Uh, now over here, uh, talk to Mr. Willy. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name, never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? Uh... How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Hmm. I wonder how. That's not a bad painting over here, I gotta say. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Very artistic. All right, let's see. Is there anything I can make now with the crafting table? I think I have enough sticks, All right? All right, time to make a painting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Got the wool, and I got the appropriate amount of sticks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and boom! Ha-ha! Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color, not just any blue, lapis blue. I love lapis, lapis blue myself. Blue. I love lapis blue oh, myself, honestly. Same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? I probably own a pair of lapis blue underwear, but uh, that stays between us points, all right? 
Uh, Binta, hey, what's going on? Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Uh, not quite, I think. Uh, not quite yet. All right, I guess uh, we I guess uh, we can start the contest when uh, with with Binta over there. Let's see what else. What else can I check around here for? How do we get him to call out that chicken's name? I know we can grab the bone over there, but what purpose would that serve? I don't know. Maybe to get ooh. Actually, I think I might know. Maybe we lure the dog over there, uh, throw it a bone inside. Maybe. It looks like that's the best we can do. So we know his favorite color was lapis blue. His favorite tool was a diamond hoe. But what about his pet chicken's name? Hey there! You are... Wow, you are really cute! Aw. Oh, uh, Blocko? Blocko, okay. Hey, you want to play fetch, Blocko? Fetch! Ooh, whoa, whoa. That was a bit close. That was a bit close. Aww, he's so cute! <laughs> and you are a serious fetch artist. <laughs> Alright, now for my plan to become, uh, for my plan to be in place. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. <laughs> okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Wow, actually worked. Dog! What are you? Oh no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come oh. back! Huh? Waffles, Chicken named Waffles. Huh? Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Hmm. So Waffles, Diamond Ho, and Lapis Blue. I think we're just about ready, Moins. Anything else I could do with the bone, or maybe just hold on to it for now? Come on, come on, Blocko. All right, there you go. Good boy. Good dog. Ah, oh, so cute. All right. Stay, boy. Stay and enjoy your bone. I think I'm just about ready to do the trivia contest. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. All right, Mites. Wish me luck. Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Can't be my best friend! <laughs> Got this, Jesse! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. Huh? I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin! Oh boy. Huh. Alright. Let's see. I don't know how high I can build, but I'll give it a shot. Alright, over here. Probably should have saved this for next time, Mites, but honestly, I just want to see if I can, uh, I want to see if I can get this in the video, because I want to, I want to, I want to, I just really want to see, I want to, I want to see what's going on around. Let me see, how high can I actually build? Uh, okay. So, move, remove, remove, remove this a bit. Oh, wait, move that, nope, that one, okay. And I don't have lime green, so... I'll do, I'll, you know what, I'll, um, okay, I'll leave that, then over here, this way, and any higher, I can build a little bit higher, alright, over here, the blue, and now, wait, uh, can I do one more, 
And any higher? No. Okay, this is the highest I could do in Moites. So it looks like, uh... Four, five, six, seven. It looks like seven blocks. All right. So now... Actually... You know what? I think I have an idea. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tear this uh, top down a bit. Tear this down. This over here. The green uh, down here. So I gotta make sure I get this right. So it'll be. Uh, can I build over here? Uh, no. So yeah, it's only inside. So that's three. Uh, it's seven. So it's not gonna be fully even, but I'll give it my best shot. Okay, then the blue. It doesn't look like blue clay to me. It looks like more blue... Um, is this all clay? It's all clay. It doesn't look like blue clay to me, though, Moites. It looks more like the concrete powder. I'm not sure if that's just me or but uh, or something else, but it's fine. I think I can make this work, though. Any higher? All right, that should be uh, fine. So he has uh, red eyes. Uh, wait, wait, over here. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so... One, two, three. Then... Make the eyes about... Let's see, about here, I think? Or should, I, should it be here? Uh, no, no, no. Let's do it up here. So, red. Then white, white, red. <laughs> oh, this actually looks kind of funny. Not gonna lie, Mods. This actually does look a little off. Um, but it's fine. It's fine for now. Oh. <laughs> oh, this looks so weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, this. Okay, that looks a little better. It looks a little better. And... Oh, but I just had a, a better idea, Mods. I just had a better idea. All right, so take this, take this away. That we're gonna move everything a little bit down. So, uh, wait, no, mouth. Then uh, get the blue again, right there. Blue, and then white, white. Uh, wait, over here, white. I'll erase that, and I'll erase this. There we go. <laughs> oh, that looks a little funny. That looks kind of funny. Okay. And then the green at the top. Over... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Not red. Uh, green. And a little... Uh, actually, I think that could work. Actually, should I do a little wider? Um, yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay, yeah, Mois, now this is coming together. This is coming together a bit more nice now. And I think that is it, right? I think that should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I'm done. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leaf. Boy! Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Wow. Such painstaking detail. Not gonna lie, it is pretty good. I declare this round a draw! What? This Aha. is quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Okay. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. Of course. But what blue lovers. kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come Easy. On, Jesse, you can do this. Lapis Silence blue. Silence from the audience, please. 
His favorite color was lapis blue. That's Aha. correct. Well done. Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good. Ah, he got that one. Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. Ha-ha! <laughs> the way he was always... waffling. <laughs> that is correct! Jesse, well done! All right, mate. I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Ooh. Listen closely. Oh boy. Both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly Oh, please know. don't tell me I missed something. As such, it is worth double. Whoa. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with. This was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Oh, man. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. Was but, it? But, uh, I, I, I think I might know. running out. We need an answer. It's Birch. It's Birch. You, uh, yes. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Birch was I Fred's it. favorite. I feel like I remember hearing that. Nice, Mike! We did it! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. Of course, of course. And here Whoa. are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. It would be nice, but... You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the, uh, sleeping garments. <laughs> you would really... I don't need your pity prize. Okay. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? Just trying to be nice. <laughs> Sheesh. Jesse. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. A lot of books. Pretty nice. Ooh, blue bed. Of course, lapis blue. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? All right, mates. Well, I think that's gonna be where I'm gonna end the video, and I'm hoping it saves me inside of the house. Honestly, um, I'll write down the trivia just in case. Uh, worst case scenario, I can look back on the video. But uh, I got a Samites. That was actually really cool. Um, if I knew nobody got them, I probably would have just taken them. I, I was trying to be nice to Kent, but I guess he just really is upset. But uh, then again, I mean, if you if you hold the title for who knows how long he's held it. I guess it, kinda, it, it is understandable, but anyways, that's going to be enough for now, Mike. So let me know. Did you enjoy it? I am also very sorry the video is probably going to be a little longer than I intended it to be, but I really did want to do a bit more in the video because I did miss uh, Minecraft story mode and it has been a while since I recorded. But anyways, that's going to be enough for now. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell in case you guys want to see the next video of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 and see what happens. Maybe we'll find a weapon. Maybe something else will happen. I have no idea. But anyways, just make sure, most importantly, to don't forget to keep crashing and stay safe while doing so. Let them all.